Google Earth has supported Street View for quite a while now, but starting in version 6, they changed the way it worked. Uh, prior to 6, you would choose the Street View layer from the layer section on the left. Uh, little camera icons would appear where Street View was available. Uh, they've changed it now to make it more like Google Maps, and I'll show you what I mean. If you look up the navigation controls in the top right, you won't see any Street View icon, but as we start zooming in, there we go, Pegman will appear when you get close enough where you can enter Street View. We'll actually zoom in a little more so we can drop him more precisely, but if we fly on into New York here, we'll just go right about here. If we drag Pegman out and just hold him for a sec, there's a lot of 3D buildings here, so it may take a second. This would normally load faster, but as we hold him here, blue lines will begin appearing on the map to show you where Street View imagery is available. You can see them coming in. Uh, they're a bit obscured again because of the 3D buildings, but it's pretty solid coverage here. So we'll just drop him on the map, and that'll take us into Street View mode. We'll swoop down nicely, smooth transition into Street View. From here, uh, we can click around, click and drag, check things out. Um, a neat feature in this version of Street View is you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to kind of drive up and down the street. The trucks are equipped with LiDAR to kind of detect the depth of the buildings so as you get some weird stretching from time to time as it sort of tries to make a faux 3D to improve the smoothness of it because it still is typical street view where there's only one picture every hundred yards or so. So it's, you can't really fly smoothly, but this gives its best effort to make it work. And it really works fairly well. It gives you a way to, to drive down the streets. But another new feature they added with Google Earth 6 is called ground level view. And they made it easy to switch between the two. So up in the upper right here, you see we can exit Street View, and we're on Street View here, but we can click to enter ground level view, which is really neat in cities like New York because it gives you that exact same viewpoint, but with the 3D buildings and trees surrounding you. And again, same controls work. You can use the arrow keys to kind of drive around, which again, depending on your location and the 3D coverage and trees can, can be pretty cool. And then anytime you want, you can just switch back to get an actual picture of the Street View imagery of that area. And then when you're done, of course, just hit the exit street view. It'll fly up a little ways to give you a look, and you're back into Google Earth. And anytime you want, just reach over for Pegman, drag him onto the map, and you'll be back into street view mode.